All right, guys, the first thing you're gonna need if you don't already have it installed on your PC is 7-Zip. We're gonna use this program to extract the emulator. The link to download 7-Zip is in the description below. Once you have 7-Zip installed, we're gonna head on over to this page, and this is where we're gonna download the emulator. The link to this page is also in the description below. We have a Windows 32-bit download for older Windows systems, and we have a Windows 64-bit for the newer systems. This emulator is also available for Mac. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna download Windows 64. Click on it, and your download should start. The file has now downloaded, and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract this file, and this is where we use 7-Zip. So if you have 7-Zip already installed on your PC, all you wanna do is right-click on the file, go to 7-Zip, and extract the SNES 9X. This will create a new folder with all your extracted files. You no longer need the zip folder, so we can right click on it and delete it. Let's open that folder, and inside you will find your emulator right here. Go ahead and open it. Now the first thing we're gonna set up is our controller. So let's go up to input, input configuration. Now any wire controller will work with this emulator, but I will be using an Xbox One controller. Now to set your buttons up, what you wanna do is click inside of the box next to the button you're ready to set up. So we can start with up. I'm gonna click inside of the box, it's gonna turn green, and I'm gonna hit the up button on my Xbox One controller. And it's gonna go in order from there. So it wants to know what button I wanna use for left. So I'm gonna hit left on my Xbox One controller, down, right, whatever button I wanna use for B, A, Y, and X. Start, select, left trigger, right trigger. Now it's optional if you wanna set up the up left, up right, down right, down left buttons, but if you do decide to set these buttons up, then you wanna click this box over here, allow left plus right slash up plus down. If you're happy with your setup, go ahead and click OK. Next, we're gonna open our display settings, but first we're gonna go ahead and load up a game. Let's go up to file, load game. Go ahead and locate wherever your Super Nintendo games are located on your PC. Mine are right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select Aladdin. Okay, let's go up to video and display configuration. If your gameplay seems pretty smooth, then leave your output method at Direct3D, but if it seems like your game is lagging, then you may wanna try OpenGL. For the aspect ratio, if you would like to change it to 4.3, this is the original aspect ratio of Super Nintendo games, but I prefer to stay at 8.7. Go ahead and check the box for V-Sync so you don't get any screen tear. At the top right, output image processing, go ahead and click the drop down arrow, and you guys can play around with selecting each one of these. They all make the game image look different. My favorite two is Simple 4X and four times BRZ. I'm gonna leave it on this one because it really smooths out the image. Like I said, play around with each one and see which one fits your taste. Then let's go back over to general and let's click full screen. This way when you load the emulator, it will be full screen. Go ahead and click okay. Now we are in the game and our controls are working. 